Right about a week ago, I caught these two copulating. And now, as you can see, she's got a uh, pre-ovulation swell. You can see it's pretty obvious there. Towards the, uh, I don't know, I'll say about a little more halfway down her body. It's definitely got an obvious swell there. So this is what's known as the pre-ovulation swell. So within two to three weeks and even up to two months or so, should be uh, expecting her to ovulate. Uh, possibly, probably one ovary at a time, maybe both at the same time. And then hopefully we get a little more copulation and get some babies. And that is my uh, coral albino het for snow female with my triple het for snow male. And up here I got a het henry female possible het albino which makes her possible double het snow. And the little male up there is a, uh, is a albino, albino uh, het for snow. And they've definitely been courting for a little while now, so. At first I thought he might have been a little too small, but we'll see. Time will tell. He's definitely been all over. Been squeezing up on her tail, so we'll see what happens. <clears throat> well, I got it running, I might as well show you the whole bowl room. This is a uh, two-bowl file. Uh, tanks and the... Uh, Fat stacks rack system, which worked well. I don't have anything in there now. That's probably where I'm going to deposit all the babies. Uh, I kind of prefer the animal plastic racks. I use I use the ball file cages because I like them better. Uh, but the racks, I kind of like animal plastic better. They're a little bit cheaper. They look nice, and uh, the only thing that sucks is you got to put them together yourself. So. That's nineteen. That's a 1996 Sterilite tub. That's a pretty big tub. You know, I can uh, show you how far back that thing goes. You know, so it's uh, definitely pretty big. Got a, a snow female in there, snow boar. So basically, I just keep a water bowl. I don't like using this stuff. I usually use the corrugated cardboard, but I ran out of it, and I had a bunch of this stuff left over, so I'm just going to use this up. And uh, but I definitely prefer the corrugated cardboard. This turns into a mess, especially when they when they when they get on a on a heavy feeding schedule. They they mess it up pretty good. Then I usually put a Rubbermaid shoebox, cut a hole in it, and uh, put some uh, some sphagnum moss in there, and I keep it wet. And it's usually good for the humidity. And, and I'll, I'll do a quick look of of all the uh, racks. For the most part, man, they stay in there. They they love it. They enjoy it. That's a uh, it's a het blood female, uh, 08. And again, same setup. Uh, that's a double het snow male. He's ready to breed, but I didn't breed him because I wanted to prove her out with a albino. So, but uh, as you can see, he's in there, and like I said, for the most part, man, they spend a lot of their time inside that. Uh, Inside that humidity rack, a little humidity tub. See again, got a albino female in here. Yep, she loves that. We've got a, let's say, a het sunset or a, a hypo hog island boa a female there, 08. And again, they love that humidity tub. Spend a lot of time in there. About once a week, uh, I probably spray it up. To get it nice and wet, and that, that stuff doesn't cause a lot of a lot of mold. I used other mosses like the green moss, and that stuff gets real moldy. This stuff doesn't get moldy at all. I keep it right over the heat strips. Uh, the heat strips run run uh, along the back, and it's kind of right over the heat strip, so it warms up and it dries out in a couple days, four to six days. And again, I got another triple head female hiding in there. You can see. Like I said, man, they just they love they love this humidity thing. Keeps the humidity. Just right inside the tubs. That's a seven high for the 1996 tubs, and this is a four high for the uh, another Sterilite tub, the smaller ones. I think uh, in the boa file they call this the boa the boa uh, ballroom rack, 
And again, for the smaller guys, I, same thing. I keep a little tub in there. It's just a normal male. That was the second bow I ever got. I got them for 50 bucks. I don't plan on using them for breeding, but I'll probably give them away or sell them one day. That's a uh, het blood male for my het blood female that's in there. He's also an 08. And I noticed some color changing on him. I don't know what it is, but definitely gotten a lot lighter. Same setup. And this is my male partner for my het sunset or uh, Hypo Hog Island. This is a actual sunset. Uh, or as they call them, uh, a super hypo hog. This guy's got an awesome color. I mean, he just glows. Any video doesn't do him justice. Can I take him out without getting bit? But this guy's tail is just, just awesome. He's got a crazy looking design too. It's like a jungle looking design. And, and he just glows orange, man. So I'm definitely looking oh, I was a little mad. Definitely looking forward to breeding him with that female. That's it, and then all these all these racks are empty. But I I use the same setup. Little Tupperware with some spagnia moss in there. Little water dish, corrugated cardboard. And I've been doing that for about two years and it works pretty good for me, so. There goes that uh, pre-ovulation swell, so hopefully we'll have some babies. As you can check out the website at www.boajungle.com. Alright, thanks for watching.